the same product never ever sells at the same run rate each week. It never has and it never will. On any given month, your weekly sales of a product will look something like this, a zigzag. Yet many retailers religiously follow the minimum stock level formula to manage thousands and millions of dollars of inventory purchasing. All the minimum stock level formula will guarantee is that on most weeks, you're either over-invested or you're under-invested in a product SKU because your supply chain remains fixed. While in the real world, customer demand varies week by week. On the weeks where supply outstrips demand, you'll be holding excess inventory that could have been invested in products that would actually sell through and return a profit to your business. Now, just like with the share market, you need to invest your finite capital in the stock that is actually performing. Otherwise, you're letting your hard-earned working capital rot away. Now, on the weeks where demand outstrips supply, you'll be limiting your inventory availability to shoppers and therefore losing out on potential sales. Today's consumer is unforgiving. If you don't have the right product in stock that they want, they'll move on to another retailer who does. With a minimum stock level method, by keeping your inventory level fixed permanently and arbitrarily fixed at a set number of units, it is a self-perpetuating way to limit your sales. You never allow your stores the opportunity to see what sales could become if the stock on hand was representing the actual sell-through based on the actual customer demand. Now, there are two statements that make a retailer's blood boil. Overstocks, which result in clearance sales and loss margin, and understocks, which result in lost sales in today's real world of cutthroat retail. If you can't get your buying strategy to within 10% of the demand curve, you're in trouble. And if you can't get the right stock into the right store at the right time, you're in trouble. Customers want to engage with retailers who can provide instant access to the goods they want. If you can't provide that, you simply won't win the sale. If you're using minimum stock levels, it is massively hurting your return on inventory investment. So how do you ensure you match the supply with the demand at all times? Well, you use an automated replenishment algorithm instead. An algorithm that's far from fantasy that combines real-time data across all your stores and e-commerce on the key metrics. So for example, sales daily run rate, lead time from your supplier, the day's cover, existing stock in store, and existing on order stock levels plus stock in transit, which will then automatically create your stock transfers from your warehouse to your stores and from your suppliers back into your warehouse. This solution will determine the optimum inventory to purchase and the optimum inventory to replenish to your stores. This means rather than getting your staff to waste time on purchase administration, you can divert that time into energy and activities that really add value back into your business. Also, let's face it, using gut instinct to reorder thousands of products is never going to be able to compete with an algorithm that's been designed using proven principles of retail buying and which can do a calculation across your entire supply chain in milliseconds. With both automated and suggested replenishment capability, you can remove all of the guesswork. For example, knowing the days on hand for each stock item and ensure you're getting the right stock into the right store at the right time based on actual demand patterns. Quickly identify anomalies between stores. So for example, a store reporting low run rate for some items where in other stores with similar customer demographics, it's actually selling better. Instead of just ordering stock, you become empowered to investigate. The investigation could uncover poor product placement and lack of staff training. Now all of this will help reduce excess stock and the need to run clearance sales. It will minimize stockouts that result in lost sales and save up to 50% of the labor time that you typically spend on manual purchase administration. 
it will ensure your capital investment in inventory continues to yield the best possible return and having a wider lens to make sure you can make more informed decisions. Armed with reliable live data and the right systems that automate replenishment based on proven algorithms, you can transform your business efficiency and your customer experience and become a leading force in your industry. So if you want to see how other retailers in your category are employing this strategy, register for a free screen share today.